Today on the show, I'm going to be telling you who Laughleys is. So Laughleys, also known as Agent Orange, is the only wielder of the Orange Power Ring. I'm going to be honest right from the off here, there's not much to tell about this character. Because the orange power ring is a parasitic ring that only allows Laughleys to feel greed. So because of that, we haven't really had a chance to get to know the character beneath the ring. What we do know is his first major appearance was in Green Lantern number 39 in 2009, and he's probably a couple of billion years old. His species are really long lived, hence why he's a couple of billion years old. He didn't have some kind of special mutation and he's not a cosmic being, it's just because of how his species lives. He was a slave from a very, very young age and he was starved and this has affected him psychologically. He and a few others of his race would eventually escape and become wanted criminals in a thieves guild. Eventually the thieves guild would come across a box and inside the box was Parallax and the orange light. And obviously the guardians of the universe didn't want Parallax, the fear entity, getting into the wrong hands. So they would strike a deal with the thieves guild. They would allow them to keep the orange light in exchange for Parallax. And so the thieves guild would all fight to the death until eventually Laughleys was the only one standing and he would become Agent Orange. Like I said, the orange ring is one of two parasitic types of rings. The other parasitic ring is the indigo ring, which represents compassion. And parasitic rings essentially block out all other emotions than the emotion that it represents, meaning they function at much higher power than all the other rings of the emotional spectrum, but they kind of brainwash their users. But unlike the indigo ring, the orange ring functions in a different way. With the indigo ring, if you take it off, you totally forget your time with the indigo tribe. If you take the orange ring off, you crave it back. You need it back. It's all that consumes your mind. It's like it boosts your natural greed level. So when you take the ring off, you become greedy for the ring. And so you yourself in your natural state become a greedy being and the ring doesn't need to brainwash you anymore. So when it comes to other users of the Orange Lantern Ring, there are none. Laughleys is the only member of the Orange Lanterns, and all the other members are essentially constructs of people that Laughleys has killed. There was 24 hours where there was another member of the Orange Lanterns, and that was Lex Luthor. But like I said, the power only lasted for 24 hours, and after that, the ring faded along with Lex Luthor's Orange Lantern powers. Laughleys didn't actually appear on Blackest Night as much as people would have liked. He was a major contender for the story and a very, very important part of the story, but he wasn't around all that much. Basically, what happened was all of the people that he'd killed to turn into orange light constructs were reanimated with black lantern rings and they all came up after him and he was quickly overwhelmed and had to be saved. After this, he and members of all the other lanterns would go to Earth and this is where the finale of Blackest Night would take place. Like I said, a major contender, a very important part of the story, but wasn't there all that much. In the New 52, Laughleys has been about, but again, not as much as a lot of people would like, but he has become more of a fleshed out character. We've seen more to him than just greed. You see, before the New 52, Laughleys had his own Christmas special. And in this Christmas special, there was a Christmas list. And one of the things he wanted for Christmas was to find his family. And that's really been his story in the New 52. We've really seen him want his family back. And it's been hinted that once he gets his family back, he will be able to give up the orange light once and for all. I wish there was more I could say about Laughleys, but there's honestly not much I can say about him without turning this into a history video. And I don't want this to be a history video because I don't want to do a history on him until I've done my Blackest Night history, and I'm not doing that until I've done all of my Who Are, What Are, Lantern Corpse videos. Consider this series my pre-Blackest Night crash course, everything you need to know before you go into Blackest Night, which is honestly one of my favorite events ever. It's super effective! Okay guys, that is it for today. So what do you think of Laughleys? Please let me know in the comments down below. And also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more history videos. And also don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support the show by checking out my Patreon so I can make bigger and better and more history videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics, and it is super effective.